Hello, and this is my Crafters Companion haul number 19, I believe. And quite a bit. I had to zoom out when I started recording some things which has been, well, very close. Um, so I guess we'll do this side first. So this was, as you can see, the Cosmic Collection 6x6 paper pad, 24 pieces, 250 GSM, 12 designs, 2 of each. So I couldn't, couldn't resist getting another two. And the reason I got these two is because it came with a 6x6 fab file and refill in the pouches. So this one. Let's see. I think around six ninety nine each ish, but for two of them it was uh, thirteen pounds ninety eight. This is the tabbed divider pockets, six by six size, with the tab pad. Here's the dimensions. If you know. The refill for this the uh, divider pocket uh, item comes with five pieces, and each of the pads came with one each, along with one each of the fab file. Because I never had one of these, so I thought this would be good um, opportunity, you know? Here's the code, I guess. And one fab file box, five plastic file pockets, and five adhesive labels. So like, these come with labels as well. Those are the labels. Um, so yes, I got these for my stamp. Currently, my stamps are next to me, and they're pretty full, so I was going to transfer over my smaller stamps into here. Hopefully, it'll be I don't know, a better fit. Currently, I've got two like double. Um, I don't know if it's acrylic or not, but they're like, um, you know those Funko Pop protectors with some plastic kind. I have two of those that I buy the I want, and I've been using them to hang my steps. At least the smaller ones, with the A4 size, I don't know, find it. But, um, yes, so it's kind of overflowing. So I'm gonna see if I can them in the tab pile, at least the smaller ones, and you know, put them, I don't know, over there or somewhere. Okay, so that's that. So since this is all the top, here is the Scratch and Reveal Craft Kit Surprise version. 72 elements, like the last one. It's 57 Scratch and Reveal stickers and 15 clear acrylic stamps. And it's the code if you want to see. And to save my eyes, I will open it and show you what the stamps say because they're really small on the cover. There. Yes. And these are. Oops. Don't pay any amount to that. It's just from the Madeleine's packaging. After I ate them, I cut out some bits to stay, to keep if I wanted to, you know, make, put it on a card or something. <laughs> I mean, why not, right? Um, this was on sale for three ninety nine. So let's look at the stamp. It comes with the uh, Spectrum of your stickers. 
And here is stamps. Let's see. What do you give parents who have everything? Promotion to grandparents. A promotion to grandparents. Scratch here. Couple arrows. And hearts. A little card with a big surprise. Scratch the heart to reveal your surprise. Shh, it's a surprise. Blah, blah, blah. Would you like to be promoted? Grandparents to be? Put the grand in grandparents. Grandparents are the best type of grown ups. You are going to be the best. Blah, blah, blah. Grandparents fill the world with love. Though, technically, for this one, you know, they could have put, scratch the, like, put a blank and put, like, separate stamp words for heart, circle, banner, star, you know, because, like, you know, they're different shapes. So that, like, could have been a bit more generic if you didn't want to use a heart. Yeah. So this is more... Grandparent slash baby announcement kind of thing going on. Okay. So let's see, I do have that ones near me. I bought at a separate time, which. One of them was on sale, one of them wasn't. Let's see. Let me get it out for a sec. Because they all have the same, you know? So... I guess this one is a friends kind of one. And this one is the, uh, little baby one. So like a bit... Like the baby reveal side of things instead of reveal. Because that's mostly grandparent type of thing in that one. So yes. Anyway, so that's that one. Next up, we have this Easter Blessings. It's all of those lovely stamps to go with my favorite Easter uh, lady dies. So we have... Happy Easter and God bless. Whatever lifts your spirits, brings you hope, and fills you with the miracle of Easter, I wish for you this year. That's nice. Nice, good size, but inside a stamp, I guess. Um, happy Easter to the whole family. I hope it's a fun one for all of you. Hope your Easter is extra bright and happy this year. Have a happy Easter, Easter wishes, wishing you a happy, heartwarming Easter time. And peace, love, and Easter blessings. It's a nice general kind of thing. So, I guess I should, well, I don't need to move this, but this is the. I forgot to turn the price on the other one. <laughs> um, $4.99. I don't think it was on sale though. Um, here's a plate storage bag for a 9x6. If you look on the previous haul, I don't know, uh, it's not the previous one, but the one before that maybe? Or the, the one before that. Um, anyway, because that one was the uh, 9x11. This is a 9x6. I got this one to put my 9x6 plates for this one. Because the other one I got for my, my spell boundary plates. <clears throat> so yes, it's very, very good. So I won't have to keep it in the plastic packaging. Let's just keep it in here. Um, that one was £6.39, which I believe was on the sale. I believe that was the sale. Um, might as well. Uh, your kind of banged up a bit. <laughs> it's supposed to be really uniform instead of banged up, but it is foam, so it's, it should be fine. Hopefully. 
But oh man, those people really didn't know about me. So these two, let's just put it here, are as you can see the Spectrum Noir blending tool refills round. Because I do have the, the round blending one. I thought I might as well get 20 more bags of 10. 20 more because I got more paint bags. And those ones were all together £3.98, so I think it was like one ninety nine dollars each. Um, I can't remember what the uh, Central Pearl Pastel 5 color pack, 40 sheets. Ooh. 310 GSM, a full size. I think this came with these. I think. I mean, it's not listed on its own. And it wouldn't come with uh, the other stuff. So I think it came with this. And these are um, a garden party collection. And it cost £20. So let me show you. So that's. Of course, it's like a you know, pink, blue, green, purple, maybe yellow. Can't tell, but um, yes, I won't open it until I need to use it. I want to actually show you put the paper in. I'll think of something, I'll think of something, but um, yes, so I'll just put that here then, I guess. So. First up, we have this lovely vintage Paracel 3D embossing folder. Very lovely. Um, this is a generic thing on the back. So next is another 3D embossing folder, and it is Towering Teacups. Hopefully it is rich enough. Next up we have a Stampin' Die set, which is the Vintage Bird Cage 10 piece. Very lovely. We got a die set of everything. That's nice. Sometimes they don't give me a die set. Um, yeah, thank you, birthday wishes, rose, I guess, a birdcage with rose and the leaves and some lace border. Very pretty. Next up, we have another stamp and die set, and this is Dainty Lace. It's got the parasol, parasol, umbrella thing on it. 12 for this set. It's got another lace border, which is nice that it's a different one. It's got with love, kind of a doily looking thing. A uh, kind of a fan ish shape, and it's a triangle. And another type of flower, and a parasol. Because um, you could use this as a uh, fan. Or it's just a corner piece. Then we have a whimsical balloons edible. It's just a die. Okay. Very nice, very nice. And two left is the word sentiments dies. Two pieces each, so it's the the word and the shadow die, I believe. And it is party and it's over.
That was pretty nice. This is a uh, really old. Where does it say? Oh, 2021. Really old. Well, not really that, that old, but because it is only 24 right now. Still, I believe these came together. Then, then those came together. Then we have these on its own. Actually, can I put this here without knocking something down? That there? There. Perfect. Everything's sort of weird ish. Well, that's a nice hall. More than uh, hall number 17, I believe. Which was just the door ink. So, but anyway. Um, yeah, that's everything. I'll take my pictures. I don't know if I'll show you putting stuff in the fab files or having it put together and I don't mind if I might do that. There is almost you know, getting on to the twenties. Only seventeen years, but anyway. Uh yes, so I think that's it. Nothing else to show. Take the pictures and you see the slideshow thing at the very end. If I don't add a clip about putting that together, I don't know if I will. I might not play any might need more space on the desk. Anyway, I vaguely remember I actually did a sort of thing. Did I do it on video or not? I'm not sure, but I did do it maybe for the uh, storage and supply carry case things. Um I think I did like a floor enough. I'm not sure if I actually put it together on thing. I might put like a drawer or things I possibly get on recording pipe, but um anyway. I might have to do this because I, I did the first one and it seems simple, like, you know, fast enough. So then I can come in and plug. Oh, oh, that's the second box there. Okay, so it comes with five. Five pieces. So what you do is you know these go inside. So like, you get another five or ten total. And these are the uh, labels for to uh, put on, on this one. So, what you do, it, it is three stuff, you know, I'll just kind of tell you on here too. You know how to do Hold each of the box panels along the score lines, fold the square end up to Create the back corner of the box, align the holes on both sides, put the back panel and the side panel. Fold the tab section and pinch the tabs together. With your thumb and forefinger, slip around the tabs through the line holes with blah blah on both the, pa the back panel and the side panel. Repeat. Step two and three on the opposite side of the box. So, also these are the other tab files if you want to look see. There's a 4x6, 5x7, this is a 6x6, six six. there's an 8x8, a, uh, a A4, or a 8.5 by 11 inch one, 12x12, 12 12, file jumbo, album case, and a 3 ring album case. I wonder how it would fit in if it's cause like, maybe they both can sometimes, so sometimes I guess it depends on how much stuff you can put in there and tell it doesn't fit, I don't know. Anyway, I'm just the box this screen over there. And I thought it was perfect time to get one of these because I needed some more space for my, like, what, what's what, um, for my estate. So I thought I had a totally different sticker there, and that's the front, because like you see, that's a little slit for the, the, uh, is it the, uh, the tab to close, close. So you just lay it all out. Last time I, I didn't fold this part before I folded the other parts because I can't really save. So I'll fold these ones after I folded the other one. So I can, you know, so it's nice and simple. So I can go like that, you know. See? So you fold the sides. These are the holes. And then you just fold the tabs down. Only instruction says do the repeat on the other side, but it's doing all the time. Then you line it up. Or like click very loudly. Gotta <laughs> really push it in. And repeat. I like to line all mine up. To sort of semi get them in there. So I have to thing it fit a little later. Oops. Okay. Hmm. 
very easily. Oh, there we go. Then, I'm just going to this bit. And just... Obviously you can fit quite a lot in there. Okay, because you know that seems... This is right next to me. I'll just... Whoops, can I not? Can you stick these two? Because I easily fit six by six paper bags. Then, basically, you just have it snag in a hole there and cut off that you know, side label and top label and a uh, side handle. If you want to carry this way, go on the shelf, have you can pull out that way. So there's nothing on this side. And it's pretty clear. Well, it's more frosted than clear, but you know what I'm saying. So, like, from side by side, shove them in the shelf like this. You can just pull them out like this, write out what is on them. So, like, these can fit quite a good size. So, like, for instance, I just put these in here. Like this big right there. Um, let's see. These aren't. Hmm. Uh -oh. So, here's the next one. Let's see how much I can fit in here. Oh, this was just a CD pocket, technically. Not quite the actual stamp storage thing. Will this fit? I'll let it that. So we'll just shove it there, and voila! It's in there. Which is good. So will it fit? No, it won't fit whatever size this is, because it's bigger. So I can leave this in my stamp thing that I already have over here. And let's see. I'll fit that if I cut off the top. And it fit. It won't fit that way unless it's kind of itself. But like, if I cut off the top, I can easily fit it in. No, we need the top on it. So, for example, I can put it in a pocket, or I can just, you know, place it like this, with this portrait, and anything. Don't fit. Okay, let's just chuckle that. And let's see. So far, that's, that's my garden party, so it's like four inch. I'm going to swap, swap that just right. So, for instance, I could put it in like this, I'll just stick it sideways in the panel, and like that. Oops. Not in the pocket. So, I do have loads of smaller stamps that I have, you know, like this. So, I was wondering if I can put for instance, these ones from the Enchanted Ocean Collection. I'm just wondering if I can possibly put them here. There it is. So yeah, I can. These are four plastic bits. I can easily just toss them in like that. I really need to sort them out properly, but bulk wise, it can fit quite a bit. I don't need to put them in the pouches. I can use pouches like those dividers, as it says, and I can put it, you know, behind it in between. You know? Um, so let's see. I did that one, that one, that one. Okay. So here are sandwich, I guess. I said, I'm pouring the coffee to change the things that I can, and wine takes up things that I can. <laughs> that was a really fun one. Then, of course, this one. Sam, I like fudge. Mostly sweet, with few nuts. Let's see if I can keep it on the side of the bed. No, it's probably not. We'll see. We'll see. Or whatever. And since this would fit, I think, but it's slightly bended forward, so I probably have to snip it a tiny bit, but it would fit. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, I'm just going off on a tangent now. A big tangent. 
Oh yes, this is also a potion. I should be potion. Oh. So just slip it in. Come on. Oh, I'll keep this there too. So like I can, I'm unwitting my collections. Could do that, actually. Like things that are similar. And like, I don't obviously have, I don't obviously have enough of those, which I can. If I wanted to. Like, keep it in small And just, so, and since, I guess, put it in between. Or I can put it inside. Or, put really small ones in the front. You know, so it doesn't have to be in the pouches. I do have a few. But like, say, so you put all the crackers and candy in the stamps in one, and then whatever the next, because these ones are all. Let's see. Anyway, something like that, I won't bore you with anymore. So, thank you for. You know, I already sent that, so I'll slice this in just before the end. Thank you for watching. Moving up.